What is up guys, Jared Campisi, back in the garage with my boy Dotto, and this is another episode of the Carbon Panigale series, where we take this beautiful 1299 Panigale, we customize it with your support, and then we give it away when we're done. If you would like to be entered to win this bike and support the series and help make this all possible, head on over to patreon.com slash Campisi Customs. Uh, today we're gonna be finishing up some things that we started in the last episode. Um, we got a beautiful carbon tank installed, uh, but we didn't put gas in it yet, so we need to check and make sure that it doesn't leak or anything like that. Um, we're also gonna finish up the custom Louis Moto seat cover, which is absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna get that puppy installed, and we have to bleed the rear brake, and we're actually gonna be replacing this tubing, and I'll get into more of that once we uh, get to that point. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Look at this, guys. It's like one of our first nice days in Pennsylvania in the past six months. Dozer's here, Nia's here. Look how tan she is. They were in Mexico without us, you assholes. But how amazing is this? Tequila. The garage door's up. Tequila. We got nice weather going. Dozer's eating cheese. The Dozen's out here. Doesn't get any better than this, does it, Dozy? <laughs> does it, Dozy? I missed you, bud. I missed you so much. Yeah, this weekend we're getting the carbon wheels put on. Oh, it's gonna be badass. Dotto's hanging up his badass Ducati flag sent to us by our amazing sponsor and absolutely gorgeous Manny from Moto Million. You could use some help up there, bud, couldn't you? No. All right, hold on, I'll get Dozer for you. <laughs> Dozer, he needs help over there, bud. What are you doing? We, we talked about my this. Egg. You want the hard boiled egg? Oh my God, he's licking it. <laughs> no, he's gonna bite that thing. <laughs> Look, Look at, at these two like idiots. This. this is what this, this is what they do. They do nothing. No, Stay. he's gonna break oh, that. We need it to break. We need it to break when he is so Stay. gonna break this. So you want him to break it? Yeah, it needs to drop and break. Right, drop it. Oh, <laughs> nice work. Okay. okay, so first thing we're gonna do is get this beautiful custom Louis Moto seat cover installed. If you ever want to get anything from them. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can check it out. I don't have a discount code or anything like that. They don't even ask me to do this, but I just really, really like their products. So I like to support companies that we like. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is take off this uh, stock seat cover, right? Yeah, we're gonna take this off. And then this little plastic piece where it bolts down yeah. into the bike, there's a little retaining pin that's gonna come off the snap ring. And then just remove all of the staples on the back and we'll be good to go. So let's get started. Dotto's over here. Just crafting tools. I don't even know what is this thing. They're snap ring pliers. Snap ring pliers. That's that's what I was gonna say. I said it first. <laughs> yeah. And the snap ring comes off. Wow, that was. It's amazing how easy things are. Dotto says that to me all the time. When you have the right tools, Jarrett, things are easy and so freaking true. That's right. Next step is to remove all of these. Staples all the way around the seat. If you're wondering what this is, we put this on in an earlier episode. It's a heat shield to help uh, shield the rider from heat. We got that from PanigaliHeatShield.com. If you ever want to get anything from them, you can use code Campisi to save yourself 25% off, I believe. This is a teen's job, though. We need to get teens in here. Dado doesn't do this kind of manual labor anymore. She's too good for us. Yeah, she's outside in the sun. What a dirty bitch. We got teens in here to do her job. Oh, it's but, on that side. Hey teens, we talked about this. You're supposed to be in a bikini right now. I Where's your bikini? I didn't plan on that. Huh? Uh -huh. Where's your bikini, teens? Nice shirt. Also, guys, <laughs> yeah, she got a, I'm freaking cold shirt since we live in shithole Pennsylvania. Um, guys, let me know what you think of the new camera. So we're shooting on a Canon G7X Mark II. Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm just on a bikini, but... Yeah, why don't you have that on? It's the best thing I've got. That would work. You know, that's what we're gonna use for the thumbnail anyway. She's so white. Everyone always complains you're so white, teens. We're going to the beach next week though. So, uh -huh. beach vlogs, stay tuned for those. Um, but guys, let me know what you think of the new camera. Do you like the quality? Is it better? Is the audio quality, the picture quality? You know, let me know what you think of it. It's actually a really fun camera to use. It's touch screen, super light, and just easy. Easy to use. I said I have to film this because Nia is actually out here helping. Look at her. <laughs> she was. I was not going to myself. She's pulling oh. out staples. Team says you want me to and pull out. Gonna yeah, and Team goes, do you want me to pull out? <laughs> I was like, is there something you need to tell me? <laughs> don't break one of those. I'm the one that's supposed to be doing that. Maybe when you pull Also, glasses. don't pull out, kids. It's a trap. <laughs> Teens is taking off her top because that's what she does. Look at her. I wish we could see if she had loose socks on. <laughs> I don't. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, there's, that's not coming off. Excuse me. This is a new outfit she got. Oh, guys, and all the people were asking where they can see more of Christina. She now has a Patreon page. So if you're interested in seeing more, if you can't get enough of this sexy woman, you can always go over to her Patreon page. I'll put it on the screen right here so you can see more Christina. How about it, babe? All right. I'm subscribed. Enough of that. <laughs> Dotto's a patron. Nia's a patron. <laughs> Nia's a patron. <laughs> All right, so as Teen started peeling off the seat, she realized it wasn't actually just the seat cover. It was glued to the foam of the seat. So we had Dotto verify that because <laughs> I was like, Teen's launching in that Dotto. <laughs> and what do you think, Dotto? It's glued together, right? Yes. Yeah, so that seat... Sure. That seat and that cover has to stay on. All we're doing right now is peeling the uh, heat shields. Peeling the heat on. shielding on. Yeah, thank you. Do you want to do this, teens? Here. Do you want to, do you want to take we're over? We're peeling the rest of the heat shield. There it is. Put it on. Oh. And then we are going to take this customized seat. I'm going to sign the inside. Just kidding. Okay. Then we're going to put this over and restaple it. We took out the old staples so that our new staples could drive through the seat. Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's going to be blown out. Look at. So teen or er, Nia just got back from Mexico. I hate her. Look at how tan she is next to Christina. Oh my god. And look how jacked her legs are. I know, she looks so Flex for us, so Nia. Jack. Look at her. Flex, flex for us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, look at her calves. Oh my god. You should she be a bodybuilder. She's jacked. And teens is right teens is white as a ghost. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you guys both look great. <laughs> Teens looks better. Life is good. Life is Look good. Is. Look at she just carries her around. We're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next thing we're doing, Dotto is fitting on the custom Louis Moto seat cover. And first thing you want to do is just kind of put it on there, fit it around, stretch it a little bit, see how it's gonna fit, and make sure everything's gonna work. And then what do you normally do? Work from the front back or do you put front in? You always find a reference point. So since we have this hole here. Mm -hmm. You kind of stretch that around like that nicely, and that's your starting point. Looks oh, like a butthole. Yeah, it looks like a little butthole. <laughs> but it's carbon butthole, so it's extra lightweight. That's carbon butthole to you. So we're going to staple on either side of this, and then we're going to work our way out. Perfect. It's like, it's like the big so just slowly working our way around, pulling it tight, getting staples in, and just continuing to kind of like work our way around. It's, it's just a process you just kind of have to... Take your time, make sure the staples go in, make sure everything lines up, lining up the tabs, all that kind of stuff. We're getting there, slowly but surely. It's gonna look so good. So freaking good. Dada, you look so good on this camera. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> all right, so about halfway through, look at how so nice good. and tight that is. Wow, good job, Dada. Dada, you got some great curves going on all over here. All done by me. I was, all, I was Christina did everything. I was Christina did everything. You know, I just wanna talk to him. I just wanna shoot him. Family Guy reference. Okay. So while Dotto's over here working his ass off, the ladies are over here showing each other pictures. This is the resort they were at. Where was this? Hold on, hold on. Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen. Look at this. Oh my God. Beautiful. Beautiful. While we were stuck in cold, snowy, yep, rainy while we were Pennsylvania. Up here, it was snowing and raining and just <laughs> awful. Look at that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> don't put me on camera, Jarrett. Don't put me on camera. I just wanted to film a little bit of what Dotto's going through to get these staples in, guys. Um, I think I, I'm going to need to get him a pneumatic stapler. Is that what they are, Dotto? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can hook it up to his uh, air tank and then just fire the staples all the way through so that they come out and just stab your balls while you ride. <laughs> but at least the seat cover won't go anywhere. <laughs> so we're still out of here. This, is, this takes some time, especially because every time he puts one in, he has to pound it with a hammer to make sure it gets through since we couldn't take off the uh, stock seat cover. So we're going through a lot of different stuff here, but we're slowly but surely getting there. Dotto's crushing it, as always. A lot of work, but it looks good, dude. Look at that. Oh my God, it looks so good, Dotto. All right, let's put the yeah. piece in. So what he's doing right now is just putting on the part of the seat that actually drives the bolt through. Right through the butthole. Right through the butthole. <laughs> It's really tight. It does look like a butthole. Can you get it through? Yeah, it's gonna be tight though. That's what she said. Guys, look at my thumb. I just pushed that thing in there. Oh my god, Dada was pushing on it. I was pushing on it. My thumb is literally a nipple now. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Look at that. Oh. My thumb is literally a 
nipple now. <laughs> we don't need teens anymore. All right, guys, take a look at this seat. Oh my God, it looks so good. Dotto crushed it. Black suede with the red diamond stitching next to the carbon tank and all the carbon on the bike. Look at that. Oh my God. It's coming together, guys. We still have a lot to do. As I said, carbon wheels are going on uh, this weekend. Um, we have grips, levers, and we're gonna be reusing these bar ends. Um, we've got chain and sprocket that we still need to do yet. Um, we're gonna be powder coating that rear shock. We're also getting a carbon kickstand. Um, we've got axle sliders from Rizoma for front and rear. So we still have a, quite a bit to do, guys. But we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. But look at this bike, guys. This thing is freaking ridiculous. Again, if you want to be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash customs. You can support for as little as $5 an episode. But again, the more episodes you support and the higher your support level, the better. Look at that bike. Holy God. We're going to take some pictures real quick for thumbnails, and then we're going to get back to work. So we're going to pull this off the rear stand, or off of the stand, and take it outside. We're going to get some photos with the thumbnails. So I figured I'd show you guys kind of what that process looks like. You want to grab that data? I'm not going to smash my finger this time. Come on, Bert. <laughs> Let's go. It's supposed I'm, to be lighter, right? I'm short, so it makes it really hard for me to lift. It's supposed to be lighter. Look at that thing move, dude. I love it when it's rolling. It's so beautiful. I love it when it's rolling. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my camera. You like our outside watching machine? I saw that. Where do you want this? Donna, Dotto's taking photos. Teens is back here taking photos. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> hey, show us some of those shots you just took. Check I'm this. trying to take more, but Dotto's Check in the way. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Oh my God. So this is a Canon T5i. This is what we use for our photos. And that is a <laughs> 50 to 250 telephoto lens that we have. And I'm currently shooting on the G7X. Craziness. How they look. Show, show, it to, show it to the YouTube fam. Let's see what we got. With a phone. Damn, that's badass. I love this bike. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna take some pictures of teens. And people always ask, why do you use your girlfriend for views? Because it works, guys. I mean, honestly, if I'm gonna click on a video, and if there's a picture of a bike or a picture of a hot girl on the bike, I'm clicking on the picture of the hot girl. I would ask Dotto to pose in front of the bike. <laughs> no, but just like when you go to any uh, motorcycle event, Ducati has hot women on their motorcycles. You know, so it's like, it's just, it's advertising 101. Plus, look how awesome she is. It helps her career too, because she does bikini modeling and stuff like that. So it helps get her name out there. It helps get us more clicks on our videos and just a win-win. So here we go. It's weird switching from one camera to another. Sorry, I gotta go over here. Here we go. Ready? Now Teens is out here taking pictures. I'm feeling raindrops. Are you? Don't say that. It yeah, always it like always no rains here. Them. Yeah. Oh great. We're taking some photos for Louis Moto since they'd like ah, to repost. See? Oh raindrops. you're right. Okay, let's get this thing inside. No! No rain for the beast! No rain for the black They're beauty. Coming this way. Yep. And people doubted me guys. Don't change a red Ducati. Look at this. Every angle we take a picture of this bike at, it looks menacing. It's ridiculous. Am I pushing this on? Tiger. I'm so excited right now. <clears throat> so up next, we are actually going to pull the seat back off. We're going to loosen the gas tank and we're going to prop the gas tank up because we're going to fill it with gas and make sure that there's no leaks. Um, that way we can look underneath the gas tank and everything like that. So that's what we're going to do next. <laughs> I feel like we're just taking apart what we just what we just did, but um, hey, we are. We got to do it. So let's get it. Let's keep going. It'd be really bad if we throw it up in the leaks field, especially at that. So uh, we just got the bracket off, we're lifting the tank up a little bit. We need to make sure that everything's installed so that when we put the fuel in there, we can start it up and make sure the fuel pump works. And we're gonna check everything and make sure there's no leaks at all. If there is, we're gonna have to get this off immediately so it doesn't drip all over the engine and stuff. So what do you think, Dotto? Um, we're gonna put a washer in here. 
One yeah. thing I wanted to mention, because um, this ground loose. strap is not tight. We should do that now. Tight. Yeah, we're gonna do it right now. Um, two places, three places, two places that this could leak. Technically, is the fuel pump assembly. There's an O-ring there, and then underneath here there is a uh, quick, quick, quick fitting pumps in here. Oh. So, and you don't want that, especially dripping. And just remember, the intake's open; it's not sealed right now. So, make sure you don't drop anything in the last things around. Yeah. Okay. All so right. let's get this up. Put a washer in there. Put everything back together. Let's do it, Alan. <laughs> what, <laughs> you assholes? <laughs> Take seven. Take 17. Washer. Washer. Gotta find a washer. Washer. A washer. Let's see how nice and snug that is. Oh. Yeah, see that's what you want for the ground. That way it's gonna always have a connection. Dotto got the tank set up. We got it up on a piece of wood here. We got some, uh, what is this? Bed sheeting. <laughs> Around the carbon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spill anything. Over. And now we're gonna pour some gas in it. Teens, you wanna take over so I can. We're gonna spill some gas all over the fucking. <laughs> don't do that. Is this 93 octane? Yes, it is. This is E85 ethanol. No, it's not. <laughs> you good? What is funny right now? There's nothing. Don't funny. make me spill uh, this all uh, over uh, you. Uh, aye, 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 aye. All right. So first things, we're just looking to see if there's any leaks at all. You see anything coming out in there? Teens has got a flashlight in Dotto's face. <laughs> That's all I'm good at. Okay, so we just added a little bit more fuel, and we're just lifting it up to see visual if check. anything's wet. Uh, yeah, we're doing a visual check. What do you think? Everything's dry so far? It's dry. We're looks good. Cap on. Secure, Everything looks good so far. Cap, cap, Let's cap, start cap, this cap, bitch up. Oh, uh, I, I don't know what any of those... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay. Look at that. Oh, everything's all blacked out. Okay. Should I start it? Yeah. Start it? Are you going to be right there in front of a daughter? I'm staying right here. You okay. good? I'm right in front of it. All right, remember the truth, guys. Pump assembly. What was that noise? Dude, like, fucking gerbil in there finally waking up. Um, let's lift this up and see if that fitting is good. Pull it. Mm-hmm. Are you filming? How's it feel? Bone dry. Bone dry? Yeah. What about the back? Bone dry there. Yeah, everything looks dry on that fitting. The Rear pump is 100% bone dry as well. So that's good. So it looks like everything's seated properly. And obviously we'll have to run it. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the tank has no leaks for now, which is really good. That's good news. For now? For now. You never know, but they should be fine. Um, and the bike seems to be running well. Next thing we're gonna do is, actually we had someone comment and mention that the clear tubing We'll probably be will be fine for the front of the bike, but on this tube here that's right next to the engine, they said they've heard cases of some of these maybe melting. And so we don't want to risk that. And although it looks cool, we decided we were just gonna replace it with the stock tubing. We looked up the melting point for this uh, Tigon clear tubing and it was like 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just think it's a little bit too close and I just don't want to risk it, especially since it's a giveaway bike. If it was my bike, I'd just ride it. And if something happened, I'd deal with it but um and yeah this exhaust gets 9, super super degrees. hot so we're just going to replace it with another stock set of tubing uh just to be safe and we need to bleed the brakes anyway after we, we uh put on the rear sets so it's a perfect time to do it okay so now what i'm going to do just to avoid any issues we're going to take the rear master out of the way we're going to cover all this we're going to dump all the fluid out of this and the line we're going to put the new line on fill it with fluid bleed everything multiple times, uncover everything, try the brakes, good to go. I'm gonna take a shot just for good time's sake. <laughs> just kidding. Um, we're gonna empty this out, brand new freaking fluid. We are not reusing it. I'm gonna end up uh, putting new fluid in there anyways, but just wanna get as much out of the way as possible. Drain that out. There it is. About there. That's what we want gone. That's what we want. 
That fresh fluid. Nice fresh that we fluid. just put in there. You know I'm all out, right? The fluid? Just kidding. I, I have like, I'll just piss in it. I have like 20 <laughs> gallons. I'm Italian. My, my fluids can be used for any part it's of the bike. It's approved. Yep. <laughs> okay. I can't. Swapping. I can't be serious when you're hugging me over here. I know. Swapping. Teens is bear hugging Dotto at the moment. Uh, swapping the factory hose back on. We love them hose. I love hose. <laughs> Adding the fluid. Now we can't see the... Yeah, I was gonna say, now you better <laughs> look inside. Don't you dare get on the carbon. What carbon? The whole bike's You're carbon. The one with the perfect vision, Jared. I do have eagle eye vision. I was telling Dada how I got LASIK, and I have 2015 vision. And I actually got my night vision increased as well, so I can see better at night too. Hey, cool story, bro. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> look at teens being a good, a good host. Sweeping all these leaves that blew in here while Dotto's searching for his new penis pump. First penis pump. <laughs> I said it first. I said it first. What'd you get, Dotto? Talk to us. Damn penis pump. <laughs> Damn penis pump? No, you got an electric pump. It's not electric. It's not? We still have to pump it by hand? Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, no, air pump, right? We can pump it with, with air. So we don't have to sit here and pump it all day long. So we're going to hook it up into the rear caliper. Um, while he is pumping that bad boy, I'm gonna be dumping uh, water, brake fluid into here, and then we gotta let it go all the way through the entire ABS system, so we're not getting ABS flash, flashing lights on the dash anymore, and so that the rear brake works properly. Dotto got his new um, pump. pump hooked up. He's gonna suck all the fluid. We don't have to do any like pumping ourselves, and I'm just gonna fill fluid as it comes out of the system. So go ahead, Dotto. Oh, it's coming out. Is it coming out? Are you feeling it? Yeah. Is it working? It's going for a second. You better get that fluid. I'm ready, dude. Okay. I am so ready. You don't even know. Yep, it's going. You're feeling it. This is amazing. You're feeling it. Yeah, I know. It's sucking all that shit out. <laughs> this is so much better than pumping the brake. So, um, we still have no brake pressure at all and we bled system through the line multiple times and um, we realized with the 959 we had to pull the caliper off because you actually have to put it up higher than the system here or else the air actually won't come out so now we're taking the brake caliper off uh... so caliper is coming off this is a dirty job right here folks dirty 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 job so the reason why we're taking this off is because if the caliper is upside down and the bleeder nipple is on the top you'll have a better chance of getting all the air out and you also should put something the thickness of your rotor between these pads yeah we can inspect the pads while we're in here um hey look we'll stick something in there that's the thickness of that that way these don't compress too much all right so cutting we found something that fits the thickness of the caliper, so he's just gonna cut it off so we don't have a ton of stuff sticking out. Just let it sit there and do its job. <laughs> a goose! And look what I have. Perfect. Oh, that's hot. Here we have a piece of steel I just cut and it's the exact thickness of the brake caliper or the brake rotor I mean so that way the pads when they squeeze through they don't squeeze too hard so it was just a little bit too thin so we just wrapped some tape around it now it fits in there perfectly we're going to get something to tie, tie this to the wheel so it sits still now the uh, brake bleeder is at the very top which should help us bleed all the air out before it was sitting like way down low yeah, yeah. way down low I got okay Moment of truth. Do it. Yeah. So we actually ran out and grabbed food because we had been working for like six, seven hours straight and we still couldn't get any pressure on the rear brake. We were starting to, but we still couldn't get the pressure. So. Um, Dotto is actually taking apart the uh, rear sets and we're adjusting the uh, pressure on the brake so that we have, we had some play in it before and we figured we would adjust it out to be bled it 
but uh, I don't think we were getting enough pressure on the on the brake lever, so he's adjusting it to give us a little bit more pressure on the brake, and then hopefully we'll be able to bleed this in. Brakes on the Ducatis are a bitch to, to bleed. We read a lot for him and stuff about it. It's just a pain in the ass, so we're just gonna keep going. I already showed it to him. Oh yeah, so uh, we left some slack in the brake. A little bit of slack, and then, and then it's boom, nice and tight. Right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the uh, rubber uh, bleeder nipple covers nip back nip covers, on. and we're gonna put the caliper back on. We're gonna test the brakes a little bit, wipe everything down, and we're gonna call it a night. Yeah. I think that'll be good. We'll we'll put the seat on too. You wanna do the tank? Yeah, let's do okay, that. Let's yeah. do that too. Who cares? It's F only it. like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Dotto works in two hours. <laughs> so the brakes are all set, good to go. Tank is on, there's no fuel leaking. Uh, we filled the reservoir. Seat is finished, and now we're gonna put this bad boy on here. And I gotta say, guys, with a full matte carbon stealth look, and then the seat with this that pop of the red stitching, and then the 1299 carbon and everything else on there. Oh, it looks so good. Very, very happy with how this is coming together. And like I said, we still have quite a bit to do to really add those finishing touches. One of which is the carbon wheels that are gonna be installed shortly. Today's Thursday, the wheels are going on Saturday. I'm so excited. All right guys, so after a lot longer than I expected, we finally finished this episode. Um, got the custom Louis Moto seat cover installed. Really, really happy with how that turned out. I love the diamond uh, red stitching with the suede next to the carbon tank and all the other carbon. I think it looks phenomenal. Um, we got the uh, rear brake bled. We swapped out that clear tubing with the stock tubing, um, which is gonna be a lot safer. And that took a lot of effort. Thank you, Dotto, for your uh, hard work on that. And um, what else did we do? Oh, we filled the tank with gas, and so far there's no gas leaking, so that's, that's a good sign. So. That's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to be entered to win this bike, check out the Patreon page, it's always linked in the description below. If you want any of the parts that we installed on this episode, check out the links uh, in the description. And I think that's about it. Subscribe for more video guys, and stay tuned for the carbon wheels in the next episode. It's gonna be amazing. See you guys.